Good morning. Thanks for the invitation to present our studies at the Blair Bell Research Competition of the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology. My name is Oloa Shegmaki. We have three presentations entitled Social Determinant of Health and Pregnancy Outcomes, Impact of Pre-Pregnancy Obesity on Pregnancy Outcomes, and Impact of Partner Race and Education Status on Pre-Pregnancy Outcomes among Paternity Acknowledged Births in the United States. We utilize two administrative databases to carry out these studies. The National Inpatient Sample Database, which contains records representing 20% of all in-hospital admissions in the United States. And the United States Vital Statistic Records, which provide accurate records on births and maternal and fetal deaths in the United States. A major strength of these databases is the large sample size which increase the power of our study and its ability to detect differences where these differences exist. However, a limitation is the fact that they are often limited by missing data and coding errors. In our first study, we examined about 13 million deliveries and explored the association between maternal race and insurance types, and how these interactions affect pregnancy outcomes. Our outcome measures include three neonatal outcomes, which are the five-minute outgas score, neonate unit, neonatal unit admissions, and units that receives more than six hours of assisted ventilation following deliveries. The maternal outcome includes mothers requiring blood transfusions and intensive uh, care unit admissions. In a multivariate analysis, we explored the interaction between maternal race and educational level and how this affect pregnancy outcomes. The reference were white women whose highest education level was high school. These women have the worst outcomes when compared to those women who has private insurance or are uninsured. Among black women, outcomes tend to improve as maternal education increases. This pattern is also found among Hispanics. In the interaction between maternal race and insurance type, white women on public insurance were the reference group. Among white women, private insurance confers the best outcome while uninsured white women have a worse outcome when compared to the reference group. This pattern is repeated among black women with private insurance having the best outcomes while the, black, the uninsured black women tends to have the highest odds of adverse pregnancy outcomes. In conclusion, Strategies to improve women's health should include policies that would take into consideration the role of maternal education and access to insurance, as these are important drivers of adverse pregnancy outcomes. In the second study, we explored the association between pre-pregnancy obesity and adverse pregnancy outcomes. To achieve this, we matched 48,124 women with pre-pregnancy obesity and 144,372 matched controls with normal body mass index. They were matched for maternal age, chronic hypertension, 
pre-diabetes, thyroid dysfunction, previous cesarean section, race, insurance type, hospital locations, and regions of the country. Following propensity score matching, women with pre-pregnancy obesity have a higher risk of gestational diabetes, higher cesarean section rate, preeclampsia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, and peripartum cardiomyopathy. Following this, we concluded that pre-pregnancy obesity remains an independent predictor of adverse pregnancy outcomes. Finally, in the last study, our aim was to determine the interaction between paternal risk and educational level, and how these interactions affect pregnancy outcomes. We studied about 4.5 million paternity acknowledged births in the United States and carried out a multivariate analysis with interaction time and control for both maternal and paternal factors. The outcomes were both neonatal and maternal, uh, neonatal and uh, maternal outcomes. Black men whose highest education was high school education were the reference group. And the most striking findings include an increasing maternal breastfeeding uptake as paternal education increases, and an increasing maternal cesarean section rate as paternal education level also increases. These findings uh, were seen across the different race or ethnicities. In conclusion, the association between paternal risk and educational status on pregnancy outcomes highlights the importance of including par paternal parameters in algorithms designed to improve pregnancy outcomes. And finally, with minority women having the highest rate of obesity in the United States, the three studies highlight the important role of race, ethnicity, and social determinant of health, such as educational status and access to insurance, and how this affect pregnancy outcomes in the United States. Thank you. I'll be happy to um, answer your questions.